It's certainly my pleasure to join my colleagues, Chairman Levin, Chairman Lieberman, and my Senate colleagues in our effort to take some immediate act or some action on this law. And I want to thank these really distinguished service members who come forward with their stories. And I'm pleased to join these colleagues today. We're here this morning because we share belief in a basic principle, not just a political belief. We're here because courage and valor are blind to race, religion, philosophy, and sexual orientation. So let me start by saying this is our servicemen and women. To all those who have served in our armed forces in the past, just permit me to say thank you very, very much. This nation honor your service and your sacrifice. And to those who are still serving today, let me say that your days of serving in silence are numbered. This repeal of don't ask, don't tell is not just another vote for me. It is a very personal issue of basic fairness. When I was not more than five or six years old, I vividly remember the members of my own family who went off to war. My uncles and uncles-in-laws and great uncles who chose to serve and go to war and to defend our country, regardless of the color of their skin or their occupation or who they were as individuals. That choice defined them as patriots. I've never forgotten this patriotism or their commitment to this country. But I've also never forgotten that the U.S. military was very, very different in those days. My family members volunteered to protect this nation, but simply because of who they were. They were limited in opportunities to serve. For all their skills, all their talents, their intelligence, and their valor, they were forced to choose between two or three roles when they were in the service, working as a cook, or to dig in ditches, or to drive in trucks. That memory is especially Chris as I stand here today to bring an end to this discriminatory policy that forces our best and brightest to be willing to die for our nation while denying who they truly are. More than 60 years ago, President Truman rec recognized the wisdom of integrating the armed forces. And he understood that in so doing, the armed forces grew stronger and the nation grew safer. Today, we recognize that it is time to end Don't Ask, Don't Tell. This repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell will allow our service members to live their lives openly, honestly, and still fight for the country we all love. So regardless of sexual orientation or race or any other factor, today we stand up to say we're grateful to the brave patriots who chose to defend our nation, and we salute them. This is an issue of basic fairness. It is the fair thing to do. It is the right thing to do. And it is long overdue. Thank you. Thank you.